Good morning, friends. Happy Wednesday. If you have happy Wednesday. Oh my goodness. Happy Tuesday. Don't mind me. I haven't had a sip of coffee yet. It's Tuesday. I, mu I must want, you know, hump day to come <laughs> and Friday to come. Oh my goodness. I'm okay. Yeah, I just needed to drink the full pot of coffee. Um, happy Tuesday. Um, if you have a cup of coffee or tea, enjoy. I'm going to need the whole pot because apparently I think it's Wednesday. <laughs> Um, so the boys just left. That's why it's nice and quiet. And I'm starving. And, um, I'm thinking, you know what? Let's make some oatmeal. Yeah, some apple cinnamon oatmeal. I saw this on TikTok. I made it last week, but I didn't film it. So I want to show you guys how it's made, and it's really simple. Um, it's like five ingredients. Your oatmeal, your cinnamon, water, milk, butter, and a little bit of vanilla, you know, that's it. And it tastes really good. And you know what goes in into it. Excuse me. <laughs> I have a lowest right at my feet. <laughs> oh. oh, and um, I, I, I have some apple cut up. And Taco this morning was awake. And she was in her ball going for a roll. So I just put her back and give her a couple of apple slices and she liked it yeah she likes apple <laughs> she was like oh yay a treat and since she got a treat somebody else down here will get a treat come on is this is this what you want yeah yeah there you go everybody gets a treat all right so i have my burner on about medium so about a tablespoon of butter, I usually just eyeball that part, and I let that melt. Sip your coffee, oh, it's delicious, and this makes a lot, and I'm the only one that eats it, I haven't tried to see if the kids like it because every time I make it they're at school so I have to make it like on a weekend um, and see if they like it I'm guessing Casey probably will but Henry will probably prefer the package oatmeal and just toss in one diced up apple everybody in the boat Trying to escape. There is no escape. <laughs> and you kind of just cook that for like a couple of minutes. Yeah, so I'm the only one that eats it and I had enough for the next day and I put it in the fridge in a container and it was just as good. Just put it in the microwave. It was just as good. So it does like, you know, last. You can have it the next day. Oh, and I need brown sugar. I almost forgot the brown sugar. So maybe that's about six ingredients. <laughs> Actually, maybe, oh, let me count again. Eight ingredients. <laughs> but it's a, it's ingredients that you have on hand. Um, the only thing like I would probably have to get would be apples sometimes. I have to pick better apples though um, because the ones I picked at No Frills, they started to go bad the next day, but I already threw out the bag. So we are cooking them in oatmeal and I'll probably have the hubby make applesauce. Alright, so one tablespoon of brown sugar. And just mix that. So my dad used to make oatmeal all the time. I can remember him in the kitchen making oatmeal. I think he still does. But I don't think he ever like did it, you know, with apples or anything. He just made it El Plano regular. And a couple tablespoons of cinnamon. 
And as a kid, I remember thinking, ew, like, that's, you know, that's gross. You know, and <laughs> why, why are you making that? Why are you eating that? You know? But really, it's like, as an adult, Oh, I get it. <laughs> it's good. And it, it, I was thinking, like, after I made it the first time, I was thinking you can add honey to it. You can put flaxseed in here. One cup of oatmeal. One cup of milk. And... One cup of water and just let that cook. And then, uh, just like, I think a teaspoon of vanilla. I just usually eyeball it. So that looks good. And let it cook for a few minutes. It will thicken up a bit. And I was thinking, uh, yeah, like, you know, I can add honey. I can even do this and put peaches in it. But put peaches in, like, about right now so they don't get, like, mushy on the bottom. And that would be really good, too. But I wanted to show you what it looks like with the apple. See, it's already starting to get thicker. See, it, it makes a lot. I like, guess it's probably like, enough for like four people. But I'm the only one that eats it. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah, I wasn't happy about the apples. Like six bucks for a bag of apples. And they were starting to go bad. They were showing bruises the next day. But I already tossed out the bag. But you know what? That's okay because, oh, like I said, I'll have the hubby make applesauce. That will use some up. I have like a couple that are actually good. Um, like the one I used today. This one was actually pretty good. But the other ones are, I think, not as good. And that, that sucks because I've been enjoying having like an apple as a snack or apple with peanut butter really good and it's like when i went to bite into it it wasn't crisp but i was like what the heck like why like seriously <laughs> and so next time and i do look over the bag when i buy it and at the time it looked good but the next day it was a different story next time i'll have to be super duper careful all right and if you want to add more cinnamon to it you can who doesn't love the smell of cinnamon? Hmm, that's good. That just looks darker because I use a lot of cinnamon. <laughs> so, I love cinnamon. Alright, and that's it. That's what that's... Um, Apple cinnamon oatmeal. I'm gonna put it in a bowl, let it cool, and that's what's for breakfast. Really filling and delicious. Mm hmm. Never thought I'd be excited over a bowl of, you know, oatmeal, but I am. Alright, so it's nice and hot. I gotta cool, but that's what it looks like. You can see the steam. Looks really good. Smells good. Mm. Mm -mm. And it tastes good. I just have to let cool just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Piping hot. Mm. I'm going to taste that cinnamon. <laughs> Yum. Like I used a tad more cinnamon in this time than I did last time. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's a little bit browner. Mm -hmm. mm. That's good though. <laughs> but good. Okay, this is a big bowl. This is my M&M bowl. I got this at Valley Village 
couple of years ago. And it's actually like um, a picture of the yellow, I think the yellow M&M in, in the middle of it. I think I got that, yeah, two years ago and I think it was like around two bucks and I was, it was one of those price tags, you know, because it's like, okay, it's M&M's, it, they're going to be asking like, you know, four or five bucks for it, but it, yeah, no, but it was like two bucks. I was actually surprised. <laughs> yeah. So I have enough for tomorrow morning that I'm just gonna put in the fridge and yep, it will keep keep good. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Next time I'm gonna do that. I'm going to try it with the peaches, but like put them on top towards the end. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to eat this and drink my coffee and grab another cup or two. <laughs> I'll get this day started. I want to finish cleaning the boys' bedroom. I got to continue on with laundry. I did towels yesterday. I did two loads of towels. So I have clothing to do today. Even though I emptied one hamper, another one magically appears. Yes, and it's full. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. I tell you, <laughs> what kind of magic is that? I don't want, I want nothing to do with that magic. I, know. <laughs> I want to disappear, not to reappear. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to enjoy this and I will check back in. I hope everyone has a, a wonderful Tuesday. <gasps> well, it's one of those days where I keep misplacing items. <laughs> and I run around the house looking for them, confused. Um, so the first item... I'm upstairs in the boys' room. I just finished cleaning. I'm going to film a clip, um, a, an after clip, and put that video together. Probably go up. Um, I'm not sure when. <laughs> I was there on Tuesday, maybe probably next week. Um, so, I'm like looking for the disinfectant spray. Um, I thought I brought it upstairs with me along with everything else I needed, but it wasn't up here. No, it wasn't up here. So I go back downstairs. I take a quick look around. Couldn't see it. Back upstairs I go. Still can't find it. So <laughs> back downstairs I go. I find it on the counter. And the only reason I didn't see it was because the box of straws was in front of it. So I was like, okay. I grab it, come up here. Clean, swiffer, go through the stuffed animals that are in here. And because there's more outside their bedroom, there's tons more stuff animals. But I go through the ones in here and I finish up and I'm like, where's my phone? I can't find my phone. Okay. I had to, I had to go back downstairs anyways to put everything back um, downstairs, like a Swifter and that, put everything away. And I'm looking around on the table, on the counters. Nope, not there. Okay. It has to be upstairs. It has to be upstairs. Take a quick look around. I don't see it. I check Casey's bed. No, nope, it's not there. And um, my supervisor. Yes, she knew where it was because it was right here underneath the blanket. Obviously, I found it because I'm filming. Um, but I was like, okay, what else am I going to go search in the entire house? You know, you know, searching for in the entire house, right? Like... Yeah, I do my hands. I found it. Yay! Um, so, it is kind of cloudy today, so that's why I don't really have, like, I have a little bit of natural light, but not the best. Oh, one sec. He just needed a kitchen towel. I have to fold laundry, and all the kitchen towels are up here, along, like, with the drying mat. So, that's probably next on my list if I'm going to take a break, because I'm kind of, like, whew, hot and sweaty. <laughs> I'm clean. I didn't do much. Like I just went through the stuffed animals, but still, yeah, it's still, it's still a workout. Yep. And I swiffered, especially underneath the bed, which was gross. That's where all the dust bunnies go. So, um, yeah, so it just feels good to get this room done. Um, it was a disaster. <laughs> um, it's, yeah, it's going to be easier to keep clean now because really the only things in here, I took out all the toys. There were there weren't many toys, but they were like enough where they were taking up too much room. Um, so the only things in here are books and stuffed animals, and that's it, pretty much. You know, 
Um, so it's just, yeah, simple and it'll be easy to keep up with because ever since, you know, COVID hit and the pit, we went through the pandemic and you know, we're still going through it. Um, it's just that life got busy, you know, with online learning, going back and forth between that. Um, yeah, certain rooms in the house just did not get kept up with because of world crap, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. I was like, because when I did online learning, that was my main focus, you know. So everything else was like, nope, you know, you can wait. And now it's getting to each room, yeah. And keeping up with it because the back area, like where, the, where our pantry is and like freezer and all that, you know, storage area, that was a disaster too. And I cleaned that back in the summer. And well, I think it was. I finished cleaning it in September, but technically it was still summer. Um, but it's still looking pretty good because I'm keeping up with it. So, yep, as long as they're nice and clean and I, now I can keep up with it. And now I can go to the next area, which is like just outside our bedrooms, which is probably the worst. Yeah, our bedroom's pretty messy too, but our bedroom is really only messy because we need closet organizers. And right now our clothes are on the floor in the pile, you know, so that's why it's really messy in there. But I will, yeah, get to that. There's, there's always something. It's like, take a number, get in line, you know, I'll get to you eventually. All right, so I have one O2 boys home. I have Casey, he's right here. What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> that face, playing with all your... Um, Imaginex. Imaginex. Yes, I couldn't think of the word. Thank you. All of his Imaginex figurines. And we are watching The Flash. We are on season seven. We are almost caught up. We've been watching it for like past three weeks, I think. And I'm making Shepherd's pie. I'm browning up the beef. I got the potatoes peeled. They're cooking right now. Oh, and Henry wanted to go for a drive after school, so that's where he and Daddy is. They are driving around. Actually, they actually might be around like the church. So they might have, because it is a little cooler today. Yeah, our weather isn't as nice as it has been the past two days. So they may have like parked around the church because he likes to run around there, look for Pokemon. Yeah, so that's what they're doing out on their own little adventure. I cook supper, get it going. Yeah, and uh, make sure I get nothing in here that I have anything while I do. All right. <laughs> take that out, take that out. And, uh, oh, always the lid. <laughs> All right, we're good. I'm going to turn the on now. We will be getting our new oven soon. Yeah, I think pretty safe. Um, no, what, what's the date today? Uh, wait a second. Okay. Yeah, I think we should be getting it soon. They're just waiting for their stove. So um, if you're new here, my um, godparents, they are redoing the kitchen and they are giving us their stove. They're just waiting for their stove. And their stove is like 13 years old, but it's, it's in excellent condition because they would go to PEI. They had a cottage over on PEI for like a very long time, probably like around 13 or so years. And they just recently sold it because it was getting too much to drive up there. And um, their stove, so their stove will be back at home while they're in PI not being used for like probably at least four months because they, they would be gone for like four months. And uh, so that's why it's like really in good condition and so yeah, we took it and we, we actually might be getting a fridge too. So that would be awesome. That would be a huge, huge blessing. Yeah, so I'm just gonna finish up the 
um, shepherd's pie and the potatoes are going to take a little bit longer. I'm trying to get them to boil, but it's taking forever. But once they start going, I can throw this together pretty quick. Oh, I turned down the wrong burner. <laughs> That's why my potatoes aren't boiling. <laughs> oh, I turned down the wrong burner. Oh, never a dull moment. <laughs> All right, so I'm adding one can of vegetable soup. Cream corn. Your what? You need a flashlight. Oh, something fell on the vent. Okay, hang on. And then just regular frozen corn mixed in with that. You might have to wait a little bit longer for the mashed potatoes. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll tell you. You can't take me out anywhere, not even at home. Nope. Mix that up. And I have to get my dish out and then I can plop it in the dish. You want a flashlight? Uh -huh. Alright, hang on. I'll help you. We're just waiting for that, but for now we're good to go. So I'm going to have dinner. It looks absolutely delicious. And say goodnight. Oh, yeah, it's a taco. <laughs> taco loves. I have to probably add music to it because the TV was loud. Um, taco loves mashed potatoes. So she she's having her dinner too with us. Yeah. Smacking her lips. <laughs> oh, the water's over here. Oh, so um, thanks for for keeping me company today and help me make oatmeal. Oh, speaking of the oatmeal, <laughs> use two teaspoons. I use tablespoons. I wasn't awake yet. Coffee didn't kick in yet. <laughs> but it was still good. If you like a lot of cinnamon, um, I didn't mind the extra cinnamon, so it was still good. But yes, definitely use the teaspoon and not the tablespoon. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Alright guys, so uh, I'll see you next fun video. Take care. Mommy, I like chicken nuggets! You want more chicken nuggets? They're in the air fryer cooking. I know he's having chicken nuggets because he don't eat shepherd's pie. I know. He's crazy. Oh, you're cooking the chicken first. Okay. Got lots going on there. Fryer. Air fryer has been kept busy. <laughs> Alright guys, so um, take care. Be blessed. And I will see you soon. Alright. Bye.